fuck the world, I won't walk in erection Spit without a thought, we do it reckless Your nigga call us texting You say, baby, don't be mad, you know how great it is Hey guys, and thank you for tuning in to my channel. Um, welcome to those of you who are new to my channel and coming on my platform. And welcome back again to y'all or to those of you who have or who are subscribers that are coming back again. My name is Brianna, for those of you who do not know me, and I am currently on a weight loss journey. Um, I am a small content creator. I do vlogs. Um, I'm a lifestyle content creator, basically. So you get a little bit of everything on my channel. But today, y'all, um, I'm not gonna be talking about weight loss that much today i might talk about it some but it's not gonna be a whole lot i'm just now getting back guys i took my mom on a mom and daughter brunch i just wanted to do something special because i don't like get a chance to really really spend that one on time with my mom i am really a true like girl's mom did i say it right girl's mom mom girl or whatever mom girl i guess to make it sound better i love my mom i have been attached to her since day one um i love my father too both of my dads or whatever but it's just something about that mom i love my mom and i just took out i treated her to brunch and y'all i still ate what i could eat i didn't eat much since i did my pouch reset if y'all don't know what a pouch reset is um, look it up, go on TikTok, or either look at my, la my last vlog before this one. Um, I just came off of a pouch reset as of today, and I cannot be more grateful. Um, I went seven days, basically liquids, my protein shakes, water, um, sugar-free popsicles, sugar-free um, jello, um, broths beef broth chicken broth water and all of that and i am down six more pounds i am officially down 101 as of today i'm 182 and i can't be any more happier y'all i feel lighter like i had to look at myself in the mirror today i was like you look dang good I'm not gonna curse <laughs> but you look dang good like I had to like look at myself yesterday when I was shopping around at Marshalls. Like I look freaking good. I'm beautiful. I can care less about what anyone else say. Like I'm beautiful. I feel good. I look good. Like I've came a long way. And y'all, like I tell, you know, or ha like I have told y'all on some of my videos, this is not my first time being this size. Like I was never just big or like, I hate to use this word, but fat, you know, me just being in a place of depression and all of that and just being an um, emotional eater and then turning into a binge eater, that's how I gained my weight. But, you know, I had to break up out of that. I, I really had to. And I did the pouch reset to break a stall because I was stalling around like, I want to say six or seven months post op or something like that. I was around like 194 or 193. And every time I stepped on the scale, it would go between 194 to 193. I finally broke that stall when I was um, up in my water and taking stuff like that. And I want to go on a pouch reset to not just continue to lose weight and break my stall, but to reset my mind. That's what I needed. Because about two, three weeks ago, me and my family, um took a vacation on to great with lodge and we had the best time of my lives i didn't eat terrible i just had things that i probably shouldn't have eaten i didn't indulge in it i just ate like a slice of pizza for two days and you know i felt like i was getting off track even prior before that 
I wasn't just going out eating no fast food or nothing like that. I, I don't do that. If I eat something, I try to eat something that's higher protein and beneficial. Stay away from sodas completely. I drank my water, but I wasn't getting any enough water. And I come to find out since, you know, I've been on this pouch set, it was the water and it was head hungry. Not that I was, wasn't hungry, but I wasn't as hungry as I thought I was. If you're not getting enough in enough of hydration, you're going to feel like, okay, you have to eat. But no, once I get full, I stop eating. I go right into hydration. I did drink a bottle of water this morning. And I also did one protein shake. I'm about to get into some more water. Like that pouch reset is, is helping me reach my water goals. So I will be eating three small meals a day like I was doing anyway before I did the pouch reset and i'll try to limit my snack and if i do snack and i'll snack on something like nuts fruit um yogurt something high in protein or if i'm craving like something sweet i'll snack on like fruit but anywho i don't want to get into that right now because i don't want this to be long because the pouch reset video was way longer than what i intended it to be but it's up now i'm glad i started um, I started, um, editing it last night and I tried to take out as much as I could or whatever. And I know I didn't show a whole lot of what I ate, but I did show you guys some of the items I ate. It was just repetitive. And I also told y'all, you know, by mouth. So I hope that helped. Now that I look at it, I wish I had had everything laid out on the table so I could show you guys what I was eating. But I did show mainly what I was like eating or drinking but anywho y'all um i have some packages that arrived and i'm about to open it i'm about to get on my school work because i am on um summer break so i know i ordered a hand bag, a hand band wig and this is gonna be like a weekly vlog know what this was i thought this was some gel or something at first but um these are the headbands i'm glad they put it in this container that i ordered i have some of these same headbands back there the gray one anyway i don't have the green one the pink one the black one i needed more headbands for my headband wigs y'all um i'm currently trying to treat my hair and stuff like that and get it back to its natural thickness because i've come to conclusion that the migraine shots that i'm on is taking my hair out i'm not bald or nothing like that but my hair is much thinner than what i would love for it to be still kind of full but it's not full to my liking i've always had beautiful thick hair very full and the migraine shots that i'm on is taking it out it's not the surgery. I, I thought about it. I was like, no, because it was doing this a little bit before, but it's gotten a little worse. So I had got me some vitamins that I found, I think, from Marshalls. And I'm going to be taking those and see what it does. And I'll be getting my hair treated like every month. I won't be getting no like blowout and like getting it iron or putting no heat in my hair, nothing like that. I just want to get more of a natural style or just get it trimmed every three months condition washed and just taken care of and i'll be mainly like having my hair braided up no edges like no edge gel around my edges or nothing like that because that's what most of my breaking is at in the front but yeah I, i'm like i got to go back to my braids um my hair being braided and my wigs and i ordered me a new wig this is like a couple of months old i'm gonna order me another one too but these are a lot of headbands and they are so pretty they also have those were the solid ones i cannot wait to put on my new headband wig actually the headband wig is, is similar to what this was before i actually bought a crimp iron and like i said i got some of these same headbands i got this one back there i think i might have this one as well too this one i don't have um this one is new this i got this one on y'all 
and this one this if, if y'all don't like feel like doing y'all hair every day y'all just want to put on a wig buy a headband wig or either buy your glueless unit i have a glueless unit back there actually too i just got to get someone to um fix it up for me this this and i think that's all so i just want to show you guys that and i'm going to put them back in here if i can i'm so glad they put it in a jar instead of a plastic pouch and i'm just gonna stuff it back in here the best way that i can because yeah um i'm super excited because I got my nails done because me and babe we're going on a date it's a surprise don't know where we're going but it's a surprise so that's that y'all i think this might be the headband we so i i ordered two packages from off amazon and i'm so exhausted and I also ordered something from my TikTok shop. I ordered some more of those Cookie Monster um, protein brownies because I ran out and I was like, I want some more. I want to try their new flavor, the banana bread one, but it got chocolate chips in it and I'm not a fan of no banana with no chocolate in it. So I was like, nah, I'm gonna stick with what I know because those things too high to be eating something that you know, it's not the best. Next time I'm going to get blueberry cobbler. I think that's what it's called. But this is my headband wig. And it's 100% human hair. This is human hair. I didn't put anything on it. I didn't crimp it this morning or nothing. I just put it on. I didn't feel like doing it. The only thing with these headbands is with some of these companies. I just, so yeah, I got a third band of the same. I wish I had to put a different one in there, but it's okay. I'm not gonna wear these lashes and I'm not gonna use this headband wig cause I, I don't like that kind. I always go to the hair store for mine. I don't know why they put that kind in there anyway, but this is basically the same unit that I have. I think it's like a 20 inch or 18 inch or something like that in this deep way. I love this wig when that, when I first got it, but I got to find me a bigger crimp iron and some other product to, to put on it to actually let the, the waves hold. But I'll be wearing this on Friday Cause that's when the date is. I told him I don't want to keep going on dates on on Saturday. We can go Friday. Let's do Friday because when I get up in the morning, you know, like church Sunday, I just want the rest. I want the rest because I didn't feel like getting up super early to go to church after all that. Cause reservations for dinner, we're going to be going to California Dreaming, and reservations for dinner is like at seven so so yeah this is you know a little weekly vlog in a way i might put this vlog together with my weekend vlog, you know? So I'm gonna try to space it out. I don't know yet. Again, I might do the weekend vlog by myself. I might put the weekend vlog on my Friday. So y'all, these are the protein brownies that I got from the TikTok shop. And I did get me a cold brew system. I don't know why it it wasn't delivered today. Um, it's running behind because I purchased both of these at the same time, but it's fine. I will come back tomorrow because it's supposed to be delivered tomorrow. So I'll come back tomorrow and I'll show you guys the system. I'm excited about it. I'll be trying mine out on Thursday or whatever for July 4th. 
but I gotta let it sit for 24 hours or overnight. So I make it up that morning or that night and the next morning, then I'll taste it because instead of me keep buying all these Nespresso pies, Starbucks um, capsules and all that stuff in my Nespresso machine to make my protein coffee, that'd be a cheaper way. It's a great investment and I see a lot of people love it. And honestly, y'all, that's almost how Starbucks and these coffee shops make their cold brew. I asked them and it's pretty much the same way. You just use like the um, coffee grounds and they put it in this bag and they tie the bag up, they fill it up with water and they let it sit. And then they take that out and they fill it up with water. And then you have your coffee. But I'll come back tomorrow and I'll show you that. But y'all, I'm not going to eat one today because I don't have my fat free whipping cream. But July 4th, baby, I'm going to have one. I am. And, you know, I made a video about this as well for the nutrition. It is 230 calories, 19 grams of protein, five grams of collagen. My dietitian, she was like, you just gotta be careful with stuff like that. And I hear her and I hear her out and stuff like that, I listen. But y'all, let's be honest. I'd rather eat this than be eating like something that's not beneficial for me when it comes down to protein. This has protein in it and it tastes good. And if, you know, the calories weren't as high as it was, it'd probably be nasty. So, I mean, for 230 calories for a protein bar is 200. I have seen some a little higher than that. So for a freaking brownie that's filling, that's, you know, pretty much sweet, that's low in sugar, I think it's good. It's high in fiber. It has nine grams of fiber. The carbs is two carbs and sugar alcohol is 10 grams. Sugar alcohol does not mess with my stomach when it comes down to these. Now I'll tell you what do, those sugar-free candies, the Stouffer kind or Stouffer um, Rosal kind, those mess with me really, really bad because they are very high in sugar alcohols. And they, if you are ever constipated after you have this surgery, even before you have this surgery, but especially if you have a surgery, weight loss surgery, try that. I guarantee you, you will become unplugged. But these are really good, y'all. This is just like a treat. And it's definitely a 10 out of 10 chef kiss. I've seen people put them in microwaves. I've seen people put them in the air fryer. I have me a Pyro XL air fryer. I really want a new one, another kind of um, air fryer. I'm gonna be putting mine in the air fryer for like one minute. Um, Thursday at my mom's house because she has two and then I'll be topping mine off with um, fat free whipping cream I used to get the sugar free kind at Walmart but now I get the fat free kind at wherever they sell it at sometimes I still get sugar free but I'd rather get the fat free because it's lighter it's healthier and it's lower in calories so yeah that's that with the protein brownie and it looks like that was all of my package. I only had three. I was hoping, hoping, hoping that my um, cold brew system would have came. It's a cold brew jar system. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show y'all what I went to old, what I purchased at Old Navy. I just purchased just some pants because the other day I had purchased myself some um, a dress in a large. Y'all saw it um, when I had on the stripy gray and white dress. It was on sale for $10. I took my mom the other day and I told her, I said, Mama, get you, you know, something that's on sale. Get you a dress, get you two dresses. And she was happy with that. And she did. She got her two beautiful dresses that she can wear, one out and one to church. So, y'all, I ain't been able to fit in old navy jeans in years. Like, I really don't shop at Old Navy like that unless it's a sale. But they had a sale. Um, I think it was buy one, get one 50% off. And these jeans were $34.99. Two pair was like $56, I think. $52 or $56, I can't remember. My receipt is in here somewhere. I think it 
was $56. Yeah, but anywho, I got two pair. I've got the Wild Straight, the High Rise, um, long in a size 14. I have to get long because I'm tall, I'm five six, so these fit so perfect. I will put a picture down here to show y'all how well they fit on me. These were so, so pretty. And y'all, I'm rocking my new tee that I got for five and below. But I love me a good pair of jeans and I love on navy jeans. And I also got them in another color. I didn't want to get too many jeans and stuff because I know I'm going to continue to lose weight. I'm not going to give these away though because, yeah, I don't know if I might just get pregnant when i might get pregnant or if i might gain a little bit more weight i'm not finna get rid of these i'm not and i don't know how long it's gonna be until i reach my goal because like i said the closer that you get to your goal the closer your body or the more your body does tend to stall and you have to switch it up and go on a lot of these fast and stuff but hopefully i don't ever have to wear this size ever again once i hit my goal if i exceed my goal that would be great because i really would not mind being like 150 155 some people say that's too skinny i don't care it's what's comfortable for me but yeah i got this color as well and i think i think i might just wear a pair of these instead of the pants that i got from marshall's i might just wear a pair of these going out i really don't know um, I'm going to pair it with one of the shirts I got from Marshalls and one of the pair of sandals that I got or that I already had back there. So that's that, y'all, from Old Navy. I looked it so good in these jeans. I really did. And, y'all, a, a 14, I tried on a 16 at first that were too big. I was like, uh -uh. the shorts that I have on now are too big. Um, I had to wear a belt and tighten it up really good and pull it up all the way over my stomach to make it look like it's not too big. They're not just falling off me or anything like that, but I can go down like a size or two. But, um, I had on a 16. I was like, nah, these don't fit. I was like, they were big up in here in the front and in the back. I could just pull on them and I was like, I don't want to look saggy or nothing. I want something that's going to fit. Not too tight and not loose like baggy. I want something that's going to fit. I put them 14s on, y'all. I ain't going to say I didn't think I could wear them. I was like, these look a little small. I was like, well, let me try them on. I put them on and I looked it good. I felt good. I could pull them over my stomach in comfort. Like, y'all do not understand how happy I am and if it weren't for God I wouldn't have made it this far but that's that y'all for um for my old navy thing I stopped by Dollar Tree I'm just doing y'all a little quick little haul and I bought me some little clips for my hair or my headband wig I bought some cups because we needed some more I purchased, I purchased some, um, pastel baking cups, um, cause y'all know I mentioned to y'all that I want to make the egg McMuffin bites. I'll probably make those one day this week. I don't know. Or next week. Probably next week. And I bought me some gallons of flop bags for my ice. I bought me a little journal to start logging in what I eat. I'm an old school type of girl. And logging in that phone every day just gets on my nerves, y'all. I'd rather honestly just write it down so I can actually see what I'm eating every day and go back to it. Um, I bought me some of these to keep in my purse. The green tea cosmetic wipes. I mean, um, I said wipes. Swabs, I'm sorry. I had to stop back on my Wallers. Um sugar-free pink lemonade water packets 
y'all these are a nice table for me like the crystal lights this is close and crystal light this is the close that you can get to in the the like walmart brand and i'm pretty sure um target has their own brand kroger's y'all if after surgery if y'all don't like water just plain water try these sometimes you might have to just put a, a half a pack depending on the flavor and the brand and the kind with these i'll put the whole thing with some ice and they are a lifesaver after my surgery water just became disgusting to me plain water i thought i was the only um bariatric patient who thought that but water plain water is just it does not sit well with my stomach and i noticed a lot of stuff after my surgery a lot of stuff was nasty and you know some of the stuff that was nasty when i ate it you know it tastes better now versus when it did like me being one month post-op two months post-op whenever i was able to eat because it went on my one month post-op but whenever i could eat and water was just one of those things who it never i don't i do not care how much i tried to drink it plain i could never drink it plain so i have to have something in it and this what works for me i hate that you know it's 10 calories a stick but that's not bad 10 calories ain't nothing i still stay in the calorie deficit i stayed in my calorie deficit for my um pouch reset and y'all these are lifesavers my babies like them i buy them for them if they want one i give it to them you know and they love them so you know these are lifesavers for me so that's what i got out of dollar tree you know i got to keep me some gum this is sugar free i checked it out and y'all i don't know if y'all heard or not but they've been saying that these things link to heart attacks and stuff like sugar free gums it's something that starts with an x and I did check this, and I think that it does have it in here. Most gums have it in here, but everything else that I checked in my um, everything else that I checked in my um kitchen, it does not have it in here. Maybe over. Yeah, it has it for the first ingredient. It's X Y L I T O L. I don't even know how you pronounce that, and the thing is so little. But it ain't like I chew this stuff every day. And I'm really going to have to like back away from it or just pray over it before I eat it and all of that. But it's been like known to, or you know how they do the research and stuff like that. Like studies showing that it's linked to heart attack, cancer or something. I don't know. But I just pray over stuff before I eat it anyway. And I ain't finna be bothered with that because it ain't like... I just eat this stuff every day. It's just whenever I have bad breath, I haven't eaten and I need it to relieve that hunger feeling or that bad breath moment. You know, if I haven't eaten in hours, I pop in one. So this is my first time seeing this little thing. I think it's cute. And last but not least, I also have found the compact mirror. I have been looking for one of these for the freaking longest in Dollar Tree. So I'll be keeping this in my uh, purse. So yeah, that's not it though, y'all. I said last but not least, I got plenty of other stuff and I'm putting all this stuff out in the on the table so that I can put it up. I'm trying to rush through this too. I got me another one of these mop heads. I look at TikTok a lot. I look at YouTube a lot. That's my holy grail. Whenever I'm bored or whenever I feel like, let me look at some cleaning videos. Let me look at whatever. Like this lady do it on a dime. She goes to Dollar Tree every week and she shows people how to like handcraft stuff for your house, for your car, for your apartment, whatever the case may be. And she had one of these little mop pads. And if y'all didn't know, Dollar Tree sells these like separate from the actual stick. So I had to buy me another one because my man thought that it was for mopping this night. I used this to scrub up my showers and my tub to keep from bending over y'all and to keep from breaking the nail. So this is what I have been using is, it is a lifesaver for me and it's a great hack. I also purchased me 
some meal portion bowls. I really want the glass bowls, but for now, plastic will do just fine. You know, cause I know me, I've been done broke something with the glass, so this will be fine for me, you know? And this is it. I also got me some more toothbrushes and some more of these. I love these. These are like the liners. They are so much better than the always. This is by You. This is You by Kotex. I love it. It feels like a little regular pad, size pad. I love it. I wear one every day to keep from like, you know, messing up my underwear. Y'all y'all ladies know what I'm talking about. No, I ain't talking about no bad like discharge or anything like that. But y'all know like sometimes how you know, you get a little extra moist down there and you been sweating and stuff. You don't want your underwears, like whatever. Then you pop one of these um, and they keep you fresh. They keep you from messing up your underwears when you're on your period, if it's light. I love them. And y'all, I done stocked up on so many toothbrushes from Dollar General, Dollar Tree. I'm telling you. Um, I got a couple more things I want to show you because we did go by, me and my mom did go to five and below. Y'all, guess what they had in there? No, this is not the real K Alley. This is K L A. But this smells just like my Dodge Gear dupe. I think it's the. Which one is it? I think something with almond, cherry almond, or something. Fruity cherry almond, I think it, it is, the Dazier do. It smells just like it. it. Smells just like the regular K Alley. I purchased this. I like, you can find dupes just about anywhere. Walmart, Target. Dazier has one of the best dupe lines. Love Dazier. They're my holy grail as well. I love them. I shop there a lot for my kids as well. Um, like, I ain't even gonna get on this subject, but like my top top scent is the fruity cherry almond and the um saffron amber saffron something the sweet vanilla whatever so many i have y'all back there i got like eight nine perfumes back there from dazia and it's time for me to restock but i sprayed some of this on me i don't smell it much now at all but for five dollars i'm like this will be a good spray to go to the gym. I'm not going to spray it on my skin or nothing because it's $5. But I definitely, definitely will be spraying this like on me if I want to go out to the dollar store or if I want to go out to like the gym. You know, just for $5. And plus, it looks so much like the real bottle, you know. It, it. So that's the only reason why I got it. And it was the only bottle. So I could tell that. So many people had got it. That was the only bottle left. Smells really good too, but I'll just be spraying it on my clothes. And I did go back for their dumbbell. Matter of fact, this is going to be a separate vlog. I'm not going to do a, uh, a whole week vlog because this is already 33 minutes as of now. I got another one that I got to put up from yesterday and then this one. So I'm going to try to put it up, I'll put them up all this week if I can. And then I'll be vlogging a new vlog for the weekend. Me and my man be going out. But um, this is the five pound one. I really need to tone my arm, y'all, because I do have loose skin. It's not terrible. And while I'm still trying to lose weight and stuff like that, like, dumbbells could be good to use for toning. I want to get those resistance bands and some of those gloves that they have there. Y'all ain't got to spend an arm and a leg on gym equipment if you're going to be at home. If it's one day you can't make it to the gym, you know, just stay at home. I have a weighted hula hoop. I have dumbbells now. I have a walking pad. I haven't been on my walking pad in about a month or over a month because every day I use that hula hoop or either I go to the track and walk. But lately I've just been doing a hula hoop because I just came off of a hula hoop challenge and I lost a total of 11 pounds, including with the pouch reset. So this would be perfect for me to tone up my arms. 
I started to get three pounds. I said, no, I need something a little heavier. So five pounds would be perfect for me. And they also had like other stuff. I want to go back there and get the, um, the mat, the little puzzle mat that I could put on my floor because my floor is not carpet, it's not wood. I forgot what you call it, but I need something like that. So when I'm doing like sit-ups and stuff, I can use that when I'm doing my workouts, I can use that. And I also want to get the resistance band to help tone up my inner thighs. So I'll be doing that. And then this week I'll be, if not this week, next week, I'll be signing up for the gym. My man is going to be teaching me to use the equipment. But y'all, I think that's it. That is, that is it. Forget my background. I didn't clean up before I left. That is it for this vlog. Um, I just want to show you my little haul that I got while I was out. And, you know, my little delivery, um, my packages that I got delivered. But before I end this vlog, I will be coming back. I'm sorry because I forgot about that coffee um, system thing. I just want to go ahead and get that out of the way. I'll come back and put it in the next clip. And I probably won't do any talking. And then again, I will. But I just want to show you guys that. Or I tell you what. I'll do it in a separate vlog. Because... You know, I don't want to come back just to show you guys that and that I don't have the coffee grinds for them and stuff. So, this will be the end of this vlog. I'm so sorry, y'all. I apologize. This will be the end of this vlog. And whenever that gets delivered, then I'll start up a new um, vlog. And I'll show you guys what it is and how it works. And if you guys want to purchase it, then I'll link it in the description box, but not in, on this one. It'll be in the new vlog that I'm talking about it. But all the other stuff that I link so far as the Prime Bites, um, I will link it in this one, even though I made a video on it. I will link it in this one again. And also my headband wig as well, if y'all want to order it. Um, and pretty much it'll be the same, even one for this one. This is just a different color. It's the same one and it looks different because I have a different crimp iron. You know, mine is smaller. But I will see you guys in the next video or the next vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Well, not a review, but I hope you guys enjoyed my video. See you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.